Oh no, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. We need more. We need more is the very last statement of Bishop George Nkuo of Kumbo at the end of the solemn Holy Eucharistic banquet during which he ordained 10 seminarians as deacons as it were unto the ministry of service in the Diocese of Kumbo on Thursday the 6th of July 2023. Would we liken this bishop to Oliver Twist? Of the main character and young guy in Charles Dickens' 1838 novel Oliver Twist? No, and no is the answer because honestly, Jesus was not joking when he said in Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 to 38, that the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few. The ecclesiastical province of Bamander in the language of the Catholic Church is made up of five dioceses of the Mother Diocese of Boya, then Bamanda Archdiocese, Kumbu, Manfi, and the Kumba Diocese, established on the 15th of March 2016. Boya had eight deacons uh, this year, 2023. Bamenda had ten. Kumba and Manfi each had seven. And Kumbu has ten. And we still need more is the very last statement of the Bishop of Kumbu after the diaconal ordinations of 2023 that took place precisely on Thursday, the 6th of July, 2023. Who are these 10 men whose dreams have each come true? We have Reverend William Clinton Lukong, Reverend Pierre-Marie Tafon Ngeo, Reverend Damien Banla Bissignor, Reverend Ben Collins saw so Ian. Then the Reverend Twins, Ronald and Roberto. Reverend Clifford Mfomi and Reverend Cyril last year. Reverend Fabian Ngwani and Reverend Patrick Dubila. They mathematically add up to 10 deacons for the Diocese of Kumbo for the year 2023. The turnout of priests and religious was impressive and the animation by the Jubilee Choir was palliative. <laughs> A day like this one, uh, the words of the preacher abide eternally in the minds of the ordinary. And so what a blessing this day is for our ten young men who will be ordained deacons for service in the Diocese of Kumu. To you dear parents, family members and friends, today is also a joyful day for you and I want to thank you especially for the sacrifices you have made so far and God has made it possible for you to see this day. You have prayed for the young men, your children, 
You have encouraged them and supported them. You have even protected them and sometimes have defended them against the known and unknown enemies of their precious vocation. These deacons will be helpers of the bishop and the priest. They will baptize, preach, do liturgical functions except the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, the anointing of the sick and the sacrament of reconciliation. Servanthood is at the very heart of the ministry which you will fully undertake through ordination. One who serves is not a slave to his own agenda, but ever ready to deal with the unexpected, ever available to his brothers and sisters, and ever open to God's constant surprises. So much of what has gone wrong in the church, as we know, stems from the abuse of power and the misuse of our positions. We see this not only in the clericalism crisis, but more so in the distortion of what it means to be a Christian leader. It happens when privilege, power, and elitism are more evident than love, humility, servanthood. And our Holy Father Pope Francis has challenged us to become ministers of the church, to reclaim the radical vision of the gospel in terms of moving out of our comfort zone, laboring at the cold face and the periphery, and it is to have the smell of the sheep, as he puts it, to walk with people, identifying with them in their struggles, their questions, their uncertainties. Until we have reclaimed the diaconia, the church will be less than what Christ intended to be. Your names, deacons, please come forward. Pierre Marie Garrett Papa. Present. Daniel Bismillon Papa. And calling for any point. Present. Roberto Samuel Tumen. Present. Ronald Dillion Tumen. Present. Many religious men and women wonder what promises priests make before their ordination. And they so wonder because many of us unavoidably do not witness all the ceremonies that precede, or in other words, that come before the priestly ordination day itself. You therefore have every reason to pay close attention to the promises that the newly ordained deacons for Kumbo are making. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I will do I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith?
with a clear conscience, as the apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith in word and deed. And now, before you can become a ordained deacon, you must resolve to embrace the service state. Shall I ask you, do you resolve to keep forever this commitment as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord? For the sake of the kingdom of God, to the service of God and man, do you promise to stay and obey to me and my sisters? I do. May God, who will be God, who will be you, bring you to fulfillment. Let us pray that God, the Almighty Father, will mercifully pour out the grace of His blessing on these ten servants. Whom he has, who in his kindness he raised to the holy order of the Diakon.
uh, Ten Commandments. Very important, very significant that today the diocese is blessed with ten deacons. I thank God Almighty for this great gift to our church and a new life, a new determination, a new faith. And I think new workers in the Lord's vineyard. I ask God to bless them, bless their families, and that they, they continue to serve the Lord with all their hearts. Call to service, that's very important for us, and they give it with all their hearts. Um, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. We need more. I am Reverend Fabian Binyongwani. So, this ministry, I accept it with joy and with uh, gladness. I cannot express the joy that is in my heart. And it's with gratitude to God and to all, especially the Bishop George Nkwo and the seminary formators for accepting me and for bestowing upon me this ministry i pray that god may grant me the necessary graces to be able to carry out this ministry faithfully according to the mind of christ and according to the mind of the church is actually a dream come true i'm really surprised I, it's only after mass that someone called me Reverend Zika. they are realized that something has actually taken root in my life and uh, I want to use this opportunity to, to ren render immense gratitude, it's starting from my family and my formators and all those who contributed in one way or the other to help me up to this level. Reverend Ronald Dinyo, I feel good and I feel a deep, profound joy within me. I am grateful to God for having brought me this far and I'm, I'm grateful to my family members to my formators. I'm grateful to all those who have assisted me in one way or the other to become a deacon today. I am Reverend Roberto Sangye Tumi. I am so happy this day because it is actually a dream come true. And uh, I wish to render in the first place great thanks to God Almighty 